What up guys, hope you're having an awesome day. So I asked you on Snapchat a few days ago if you'd be interested in a grocery haul. So there's a grocery haul. Um, I usually do not purchase this much at once. The reason why I did was because I just got back from Canada and I really needed to do like a big restock of like my pantry and fridge. So that is why I have like a humongous grocery haul for you today. Um, I'm also not showing any produce just because I get produce fresh every single week and I get a shit ton of it. So if you want to see that, maybe jump on my Snapchat or Instagram. Sometimes I share it on there. So yeah, this will just be like stuff that I put in my freezer, my fridge, my pantry, that kind of stuff. First things first, this video is not sponsored. I wish it was because that would be freaking amazing to get free groceries, but I wish. Um, second thing, I get things usually from either the Cruelty Free Shop, which is an online store or I buy it from Kohl's or Woolworths or like Aldi or like Australian grocery stores. I'm sure that you have a lot more choice in North America and even Europe for vegan vegetarian food, but we are relatively limited here, although it is a growing thing. So thank goodness for that. I will show you my frozen stuff first, just so that I can put it back in the freezer. First up is a product from Gardein, I believe it's pronounced. These are the teriyaki chicken strips. They are meat free. I really like these. I didn't end up using the teriyaki sauce on them because they come like in a little separate pouch separate to the sauce, which is great because if you don't like teriyaki, then you can still grab these. I have tried other chicken strips from this brand, but unfortunately I couldn't get my hands on any of them in Australia, so that's why I chose the teriyaki flavored ones. But they are really nice. They do have a very similar texture to chicken, and if you're looking for a meatless option, this is great. These are vegan and they are actually made in Canada, which I was not aware of, so awesome. Supporting a Canadian product. A product that is a mock meat that is not vegan are the corn products. And these are available in like Woolies and Aldi and Coles and all the regular grocery stores in Australia. Um, I really do like these. They, I believe, have eggs in them. That's why they are not vegan. But these are the Southwest style burgers. I love these as burgers and I also love cooking these and then cutting them into like little chicken strips and it's kind of like having like a breaded chicken strip. So these are great. Continuing on with my mock meat, I really like these tofurkey deli slices. I love eating these on sandwiches. This is the oven roasted flavor. It's pretty good. I like the turkey flavor as well and they also have like I think like a roast, like a like a roast beast, roast, roast beast or ro roast beef. Can you tell I haven't eaten meat for a while? <laughs> but um, these are really, really yummy. I like them a lot. The company is great. They offer a lot of different things. I really like they have like a Christmas, like a turkey log or whatever, and it comes with like cranberry and stuffing on the inside and it's meatless. Awesome, really like this stuff. Again with the Tofurkey brand, these are the Artisan Tofurkey Chicken and Apple Sausages chicken and apple sausages. Um, these are fantastic. They have a couple different meat-free sausages and they taste really good. Back when I used to eat meat and I had chicken and apple sausages, these are actually a really comparable texture and taste. So if you're looking for something new, I definitely say try these out. Before I move on to the next thing, I just want to throw out there that I do not eat mock meat every meal. Um, when I first became vegetarian, I used to eat it a lot because I would always look at meals as in, like, what do I need to substitute for meat? But now that I've been vegetarian for a few years and I'm really confident with my cooking, I don't really look at a meal as in, like, hmm, there's a meat and then there's other things around the meat. I don't look at it like that. I look at, I don't know, the meal as a whole. So I like to do lots of lentil based things or beans or just different sources of protein rather than just a plain mock meat or soy based meat. Um, I really recommend that you try other things rather than just doing mock meat. Something that I really do like that is a quick and easy snack and or meal is the Amy's Mexican Burritos. These are awesome. They are in the frozen food section and you just literally either pop them in the microwave or in the oven. I like to slice an avocado and chuck that on top, maybe a bit of salsa, and they're super fast. And they're great for like work or school or things like that where you need something fast. Next up is cheese, and I love cheese. Like I said a million times, I'm not vegan. I try to limit my dairy, and I think a good way of doing that is to, instead of buying dairy, buying non-dairy. So when I go out, if something has dairy in it, I'm not too fussed, but if I'm going to be purchasing it myself, I try and purchase non-dairy cheese. So I really love the Dea dairy-free cheese. This stuff is awesome. My favorite flavor is the Pepper Jack style shreds. I like peppery cheese. I also just purchased this Demona non-dairy cheese, again in a pepper jack flavor because I like a little spice. Um, I haven't tried this one yet, but I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, the Dea, however, is awesome. I've used this a million times before. I love their mozzarella for pizza. I love this stuff for like sandwiches or for anything else. 
comes in shredded as well as block cheese, but I thought I'd just buy one of each of different to try this one. Next up is hemp oil, and this is a product from Manitoba Harvest, and you guys know I've been a huge cannabis advocate for many years. This product is really high in omega-3 acids and in omega-6 essential fatty acids and stereodonic acid. Has a nutty fresh flavor and I like to use it on salads or in smoothies or things like that. Awesome product. Next up I purchased some almond milk and I got the Blue Diamond original and the unsweetened and to tell you the truth I couldn't figure out which one was the one that I liked the most so I bought both of them. I definitely will drink both of them but I couldn't remember which one was my favorite. I think it was the unsweetened though so that is what I got. I also wanted to try out a little like coconut creamer. This is an Isola Bio Cuisine Cocoa. Never tried it, saw it on the website. It is like a coffee creamer, creamer. A product that I purchased and I've already made my way through like three quarters of the bag is lentil chips. This is what it looks like. It is the Simply 7 lentil chips. I know that these are sold in Australia as well as in Canada and I live for these. These are freaking awesome. I just love them. I eat them all the time. We go through so many bags. They are 40% less fat, fash less fat than potato chips and they're just really good to snack on. They have a really great crunch to them. Let me see what else I got in here. Okay, I have the Sriracha Hot Sauce. This is awesome. I love hot sauce. Like I said earlier, I usually choose things that are spicy because I love spicy foods. This stuff is great. I put it on pretty much anything that needs spice. It's a really good clean heat and yeah, it's yummy. I also got some liquid smoke. This is awesome if you are vegan or vegetarian or I guess if you just like hickory tasting type things. Um, this is a natural hickory smoky flavor. I like to add this to mock meat that needs like a little bit of a barbecue flavor. It's really yummy. I actually had a hard time finding this and then Cruelty Free ended up putting some on their website within the last couple months. So if you're looking for some of this, it is on there. The Spice Tailor. I love this stuff. I find it just in Woolworths or Kohl's. It is a awesome, like, already pre-made curry, and there is a ton of them to choose from. Um, I got the Delicate Korma, Korama? Korama Curry. Korama Curry. I got this one. It's fantastic. I definitely recommend checking these out because it is stupidly easy to make. Heat up whatever your meat is, chuck in some veggies, chuck this in, and your meal's done in, like, 20 minutes. So I love this stuff. Next up, I got some spaghetti stuff. I wanted to try this gluten-free organic black bean spaghetti. Um, I haven't tried it before, but it looked really yummy, and I love black beans, so I thought I would give this a go. Um, I would assume there is a shitload of protein in it. Yeah, so four servings per package and 22.5 grams of protein. So, oh yeah, that's good. And I also wanted to try Japanese soba noodles because I saw Asina O'Neill speak about soba. She said she really liked them and I usually like what she likes when it comes to food. So I definitely wanted to try these. And I also wanted to grab these Japanese udon noodles. hope I'm pronouncing that right. They are from the Organic Noodle Kitchen. So check these out if you are looking for new noodles. I got a couple of cans. I got some chickpeas because I use these all the time. I roast them. I put them in salads. I put them everywhere. Basically everywhere. I love chickpeas. If you're a vegan or vegetarian and you don't eat chickpeas, what are you doing with your life? Go buy these. Next up, I got the Amy's Hardy Rustic Italian Vegetable Soup. I love the Amy's soups. Um, this is the same brand that made the burrito that I showed you earlier. Great brand, great food. So I got some of that. I think I got a couple more of those too, but they're way down in the other box, so I'll get to that later. Um, the next thing I got was the Sweet Freedom Natural Sweetness. It's like a honey, but it's a vegan honey. Um, I do eat honey, but I do like having this to supplement with sometimes. I got some Clean Energy. This is kind of like a pre-workout, but a vegan pre-workout. It is from Nutra Organics. It is raw, alkalizing, paleo, a powdered burst of greens and herbs at last. I just honestly bought it because it said that it was really great for just energizing you, which I can definitely use the extra energy in the morning. So I will give this a go and let you guys know how I like it on Snapchat. I also got some peptas, aka pumpkin seeds. I love roasting these and chucking them on salads or putting them on like yogurt and granola and things like that. So I grabbed some of those and I got some treats. These are awesome. I got the Cleo's Beef peanut butter cups. The Cleo's peanut butter cups. These are yummy vegan peanut butter cup treats. I also got a Mahalo bar which is coconut, almond, and a rice milk. So this one's kind of like... Goodbye! <laughs> this one's kind of like a bounty bar if you would want to compare it to a non-vegan treat. 
And I also got a Joker's bar, and this one is more like a Snickers bar. Last thing in this box is some sage. I smudge. I bought sage. I don't know if you smudge. Do you smudge? Write it down below if you do. Smudge team! Next up, black beans. I live for black beans. I love them. I eat them on like everything. I love black bean vegan pizza. I had shared a recipe like a couple years ago about an awesome pizza that I make with that, but besides the point, I couldn't find black beans in Australia for the first two years of me living here, and now they are everywhere. So I'm absolutely stoked that I can find these easily. This is the Global, or Global Organics brand. My mouth is not working today. Too much talking. But yeah, black beans are amazing if you don't already eat them. Find recipes that use these because they taste so damn good. Also purchased some red lentils. KLU number is still on it. I'm going to use these in a soup this week and I might film the recipe. I got some more soup from Amy's. I got a minestrone and I got a golden lentil. I also got some chopped tomatoes that I like to put in sauces like spaghetti sauce or in soups or things like that. Got two cans of that and I got another can of chickpeas. I have two cans of organic coconut oil from SF Health Foods. I haven't tried this brand. I got a big one for the kitchen downstairs and I got a small one for oil pulling upstairs so I can leave it in my bathroom. Um, I do recommend getting glass containers rather than plastic containers. Um, I like to, right before I go in the shower, I'll fill up the sink with some hot water and I'll chuck this into the sink and it'll melt it for me and then I can oil pull while I'm in the shower and yeah. Coconut oil, must have. I use it on everything. And by everything, I actually mean everything. Like my body, my mouth, my cooking, my hair, everything. Next up from Orgran, I think that's how you pronounce the brand. These are Chia Crisp Breads. I really like these to eat with like hummus or smeared with avocado or Vegemite or tomatoes or just something simple for like a simple to grab snack. These are really crunchy and nice and they are tummy friendly. How considerate of them. Next up is a muesli, and this is the Byron Bay Macadamia Muesli, which is like a granola for those of you who don't know what muesli is. Um, it is just a classic muesli, nothing really that special. It just looked really yummy, and the lady at the store said it was gonna be good, so I thought I'd pick that up. And next up is quinoa. I eat quinoa often because it is fantastic, it's not as heavy as rice. I have it in like, I add it into a salad to make a salad more hearty, or I have it with like I can make like porridge with quinoa. You can make anything with quinoa. Come on, let's get real. But um, I haven't tried this one. It looks really yummy and I'm excited to give it a go. Another item that I could not resist opening before I showed you guys was the Market Grocer corn chips. This is with spinach. That is why they are green. Um, they're really yummy. They're crunchy. I like them, but I can definitely feel that they're a little bit oily. Like when you touch them, you can actually feel oil on them. Would I repurchase them? Probably not. I would probably try different brands, but these are pretty yummy and if you don't mind them being a little bit oily Then these would be really yummy for you. The last thing I purchased is this savory yeast or nutritional yeast as some of you may call it I love this. This is a huge staple in my diet. I make kale chips with this. I make um, Like soups and things with this. I sprinkle it on anything that needs kind of like a cheesy taste without needing cheese or dairy Kind of gives that salty nutty cheesy taste if that makes sense um, it is huge in vitamin B, so it's really great when you have your period, and it's just really yummy. I like making um, like a parmesan cheese with it. I grind up nuts and I add this, and then it's kind of like a cheeseless parmesan cheese. Yes. <laughs> so that is everything in my vegan vegetarian grocery haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I would love to hear your feedback down below in the comments. And also let me know if you're in Australia and there is a product that I haven't tried that you think I should try, please let me know because I love trying new stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!